This is Grave Confessions from the Grave Talks. Daily, raw, real, and disturbing accounts of the living, interacting with the dead. To share your grave confession, experience with the paranormal, supernatural, or the undead, call toll-free 888-GHOST-13. That's 888-446-7813. Now, today's grave confession. Hey guys, my name is Erin. I'm calling from Brevard County, Florida. Um, so I have two stories that I want to tell you about. One is when I was about eight or nine years old. Um, my dad works at the Kennedy Space Center. Um, and he had take your child to work day. This was before 2001, um, before the terrorist attacks. Um, so parents could bring their kids in for take the kid to work day. And I got to, you know, do the really cool kid things, like have your name on a shuttle tile and, you know, I get like little memorabilia things. At the end of the day, my dad and I, um, he took me out onto um, Patrick Air Force Base um, or Cape Canaveral Air, Cape, Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, I should say, um, where the Apollo 1 site was. And um, that is uh they're uh, it's a protected place it's remaining in place and there's they're not doing anything to it to prevent it from falling apart it's just if it falls apart it falls apart that's it um so we went out there and i was of course eight or nine years old and i was like dad should really be out here and he's like yeah it's fine so there's that so we went out there and we um, we got to you know walk underneath it and walk underneath the structure that held you know the testing stuff and you know where the astronauts actually died. Um, and I heard like very like screaming, and I felt like every part of my body was just on fire. Like I was just so hot. And yes, it's Florida and yes, Florida's hot, but this was like an unremarkable hot. So, and I, I told my dad, I said, do you hear that? And he's like, no, I didn't hear anything. And I'm like, they're screaming. I said, someone is screaming. He's like, I don't hear anything. He's like, and there's nobody out here but us. And because, I mean, it's, it, far away from like all the buildings, very far away from everything else. And so you like you have to know where it is to go there and you have to have like a specific you know, you have to have a bed and stuff like that. So I, I just said I, I can't stay here. I can't we have to go. We we have to go. And so I left. We we went home and la this year, two thousand and eighteen, I went on a tour a bus tour, um, they opened up um, it to the uh, general public, I should say. Um, it's for those who pay extra money for the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex to, um, you know, you get to go and see the old launch sites from the old rockets and stuff like that, from Gemini, Apollo, Mercury, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so I went out there again and this was I'm 26 now that was when I was eight and it was it the amount of um decay that had happened and it's very rusted you can't go underneath it anymore because there's a there's a fence around the actual um part of it that you know things are falling down it's 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 falling apart so you can't go underneath it but I still felt like my my skin was just on fire. It felt so hot. And apparently that is pretty common out there to hear the, the screaming of the three astronauts. Um, so that was, that was my first ever encounter. Uh, my second one was when I was about 13 years old. Um, I, my parents have a um, van and it was parked towards the road. So it was in, uh, it was like, um, in, 
like just just pointed towards the road, like in our side yard. So you could see down the street. And I was sitting in the van, you know, messing around, whatever. And I looked out the front window or the the windshield and I saw a little boy. It's see-through, just see-through kid. And and he was holding a little teddy bear. And he waved at me. And then I, I waved back. I was like, okay, there's a kid in the street. This isn't good. So I watch him. After he waves at me, he turns and he walks through the wall of my neighbor's house. And I just said, what just happened? And I went inside and I told my parents that there was a little boy in the and he was through through and I couldn't I couldn't see him and, and he went walk through the wall and my parents were like, You're imagining things, you're crazy. So that that's how that went. Um but the little boy what I believe that little boy who that little boy was down a couple blocks away from me, a little boy, um, around the age of I, I think he was like four or five or six, somewhere around that very small age. Um, he got hit by an ice cream truck and he unfortunately died. Um, and by his, his memorial, or memorial right next to his house, there was a little teddy bear, um, that, um, was just there. His, his parents had left it there. Um, just, as, you know, like a memorial, you know, what have you. And, um, you know, I would, I would drive by that every day when like my mom was taking me to to go to school or we were going to like the store or something, we would drive past that house and I would always see the teddy bear. And after I saw the little boy, the teddy bear was gone. Now obviously something could have taken it, someone could have stolen it, whatever. But I, I truly believe that the little boy took the teddy bear away. Um so those are my two stories. Um, if you want to use it for the show, go ahead. That'd be great. I love listening to you guys. Um, I've never called in before, so I just wanted to, you know, call you and, and tell you what, what's going on uh, or what my stories are. And I hope you guys use this for the show. I'll be listening in to see if you do. So I hope you guys have a great day or a great night. And thank you so much. Bye. This has been a grave confession. From the grave talks. To share your grave confession experience with the paranormal or the undead, call toll-free 888-GHOST-13. That's 888-446-7813.